my boys. Look. What up? What up? What it's up? not just me today. It's my guy. Provolone. Provolone, say what's up. <laughs> All right. We got the 14 draft sets that you can put your collectibles in from the solo challenges. And we're going to make sure here on NFL Draft Thursday, one of the most important days for an NFL fan. And also an important day for the Muck community that you get all 14 right. Number one. So without further ado, let's start with the number one overall pick. I believe Provolone's going to agree with me crazy. here. We go quarterback. It wasn't him at this point. So. No, CJ Stroud. I think Bryce Young's like minus a thousand or something like that. No, uh, CJ Stroud. No, Will Levis. He declined okay. every work or like every invite to other teams' facilities and shit. I Vegas betting like, gods. Pretty locked in. Yeah. Number two. Number two is Bryce interesting. Young. Bryce Young, number one. Okay. Someone could trade up to. Number two. That's a possibility. Overall also, pick. A possibility okay. that the Texans don't go quarterback, but it's also a possibility that they do go quarterback. A lot of signs point to Tyree Wilson being the pick here, interestingly enough. Um, obviously, they need a quarterback, and if I were them, I'd probably just try and take a quarterback here. But they do have another pretty high pick. Maybe they're banking on a quarterback falling to them there, or banking on the idea of just being bad and getting a quarterback next year and Maybe a little bit stronger of a class with Caleb Williams and Drake May. So I think number two, uh, I think the safe pick is probably Edge here. I think it seems like most people are linking them to Tyree Wilson. Yes. Okay, second overall pick. We go Edge Rusher. I believe that's for the Houston Texans, right? So well, not third overall pick. We got to be thinking Kyler another quarterback Murray. goes off the board here in the top five. You know. Yeah, Kyler Murray's okay. already okay. there. Okay, Which It really, I mean, this feels like another spot for him. Yeah. It's either Kyler Murray's already there. Edge Kyler Murray's already down. there. Fair and enough. It's hard to predict a trade down. There's somewhere to trade up. You have to think it's for a quarterback. But I... Okay, now th this, is, this is interesting because the rumor is that DeAndre be Hopkins – We'll get traded team. on it draft be, day. Those two. Were, he is an Arizona Cardinal. Yeah. If yeah. they were Hopkins, and you don't think there would be a trade so, here? Yeah, I think. I mean, it's definitely possible that someone trades up for a quarterback here, but it's hard to predict that. Okay. Um, probably like 50 50. I, I think the safer play a little bit is to just assume that the Cardinals won't find a trade partner and that they stay and draft Will Anderson. Yeah. Will Anderson with the third overall pick. So you got two edge mm -hmm. rushers going in the mm -hmm. top three. Okay. I can respect that. Tyree Wilson and Will Anderson. Okay. Okay. We go to the fourth overall pick. The Colts. And the Colts need a now, quarterback. Now, this is uh, what we got to be thinking quarterback, right? Yeah. I Lakers. think it's quarterback one million percent, especially if, I mean, they'll have probably more, you know, they'll have more choices than I think we anticipated like a week ago. Right. I think a week ago. Yeah, you know, It's possible that three quarterbacks go in the top three like like i mentioned the texans could take a quarterback someone could trade up to number three and then you know the card or the colts are basically stuck with the fourth guy looking more and more like the fourth quarterback is going to be stroud uh could be anthony richardson as well Jer daniel jeremiah has mentioned and todd mcshay even for that for the for that matter have mentioned that they're not sure what team is going to be his suitor what team like you know a lot of teams really like him but a lot of the teams that they think really like him don't need a quarterback right now uh so i don't know you could see both, you can see both Stroud and Richardson fall. But I think we go Levis. Uh, Levis here, right? Will Levis. Yeah, here. yeah. I think I think Levis is looking more and more like the second quarterback is going to come off the board. Um, so yeah, I'd go quarterback. Quarterback here. with the fourth overall pick, all right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Get us another good voucher here. Okay. Now, as we move on to the fifth overall pick. Yes, yeah, Seattle. Now, this is what I hear could be the Anthony Richardson spot. I almost want to go quarterback here. Because that's what there's been the rumors. Yeah, so some that's the you know I don't think that that's out of play. I do also think though that they're probably pretty happy with Geno Smith. He had a really good season last year. Right. Uh, this is a team that I think is pretty close to competing. Pretty close. I mean they they competed last year. Almost made the good. playoffs. Um, 
I think that, honestly, I think this is Jalen Carter. This is where Jalen Carter is going to go. I'd be shocked. This is a team that really needs interior D-line help. Um, they really need front seven help in general. And I think Jalen Carter is the best interior pass rusher in the draft, uh, best interior run stuffer in the draft. He's, I mean, if the season, if the draft was the day after the national championship and nothing happened in between, uh, Jalen Carter, uh, there's definitely a chance he's the number one overall pick. And to me, he's probably the best pure, he's the best player in the draft, all things considered. Uh, so I'd, I'd go Jalen Carter here. I think that's So non edge D line. And my correction, the Seahawks did make the playoffs last year, wild card. So, yes. so we'll go yes. Jalen Carter here with the fifth overall pick. Yep. Now six, ah, your six. favorite, the Detroit, the Detroit Lions. Lions. Okay, the Detroit now Lions. what you thinking here? And uh, there's definitely, I mean, the, I think that there's two ways that you could go about it. I think what I would do and what the first is going to do might be a little bit different. It seems like Dev Devin Witherspoon is probably the guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, he's been, you know, the favorite for a little bit, for a little while here. If it was up to me, we'd probably go quarterback. This would be where Anthony Richardson lands. And particularly because I think that with the Lions, the Lions also have the 18th pick. Right. In the first round, I think that there's that DBs pick. that are. Right. Yeah, I think I think that there's going to be a really good corner. A guy like Deontay Banks will be there, and I'm a big fan of Deontay Banks. I think that he's he's a freak athlete who happens to be a really good man press corner. Right. After losing Jeff Okuda, it feels like that's you know kind of not a spot that's necessary right now, but going forward, uh, the Lions picked up a bunch of DBs, but a lot of them are only on one year deals, and I don't think that you can bank on that. Uh, you know, for next year and the year after. As lines continue to, I mean, it's not necessarily a rebuild, but we're still, it's still an up, you know, still an uphill climb right now for the Lions a little bit. So I think cornerback is is the safe pick. Witherspoon here. And, and you would I think so. with the Lions probably being the class of the NFC North this season, you would definitely like mm -hmm. to show up the backside of the defense. So I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Witherspoon will play right away. I think he's the best corner in the class. Uh, there's not, I mean, he's a little bit small, but he's so physical. He's so good at in man coverage. Um, he's he didn't play a ton of zone at Illinois, but he it it seems like he can do it. So I think Witherspoon is probably the guy that ends up going six, and probably is going to be the first corner off the board, even if it's not here. So number seven. Yes, the Raiders. Yes, the Raiders. The Raiders. Now this now, is Raiders, a quarterback spot, is, possibly too. This is a quarterback spot. This is definitely a quarterback spot to me. I think that this is probably where Anthony Richardson ends. Okay. Up. Um, he is. Insane. I mean, he's a freak, obviously. He's, to me, like, if I had the number one pick, it'd be Anthony Richardson. There's a ton to like. I think the ceiling is obviously a lot of people, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's a pretty common thought that he has the highest ceiling. But I also think he is pretty much the highest floor because even if he falters out, if he's not the guy you think he is, he's always going to have that rushing threat. He's going to have your team, you know, you're going to be a top six or seven like most efficient rushing attack if you have Anthony Richardson on the field because the defense has to account for him all the time. Sort of like the same thing with Jalen really, Hurts, Justin Fields, Lamar yes, Jackson. Very similar. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. And those were basically three the three best rushing teams in the league last year. Um, so, yeah, I feel pretty confident that they go quarterback. They also could – I mean, if Jalen Carter falls here, I wouldn't be surprised if they looked into him too because this is also a team that needs a little bit of help up front. Max Crosby is an elite defensive end, but outside of that, uh, they don't have a ton, a ton right. going on. Seven though they're all pick, we go quarterback. You guys gotta yes. remember, trade ups and trade downs happen through the draft. So don't get mad at us. They do. It's, it's just so happens. hard to it's so hard to predict those. So hard to predict those. Now the eighth overall pick are the Atlanta Falcons. Now I guess we're assuming yeah. here they're sticking with Ritter. So quarterbacks off the I, table. I think that the, yeah, I think that they, they gotta give Ritter a shot here. Um It's tough, man. This I mean offensive line rusher. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think that they got. I think they have two young tackles that they kind of believe in. And Lindstrom at guard, I, correct? And Lindstrom at guard. I think. I mean, edge rusher. I don't know. I don't know. This is also maybe a trade down spot a little bit because of unless you, you know, think Murphy's think going this high. Right. I wouldn't anticipate Murphy going this okay. high. But edge is definitely their need. I guess. I don't know. They also could use a cornerback. Uh, they have A.J. Terrell on one side, but it's kind of bleak on the other. I think Christian Gonzalez is in play here. So I'd go corner edge. If, you want, if, you're, if you're trying to get them all right and you think that Tyree Wilson and Will Anderson are definitely off the board here, then I think cornerback is probably Christian Gonzalez. But I think that if you're trying to like split the difference a little bit, like definitely two of those three teams are taking edge. Okay. So we're going to go corner here. Mm -hmm. DB for the Atlanta Falcons. Get somebody on the other side of the great young corner and A.J. Terrell. Mm -hmm. And then number nine, which the Chicago Bears got from the Carolina Panthers. Yes, I definitely. We already know quarterbacks off the board. Justin Fields is, is definitely here. Qu quarterbacks not happening. Uh, we can't. DB, you can't hate it. DB, I don't hate it. I don't know. I feel like 
this is, again, a team that has kind of a lot of draft capital. I don't know if they're going to be super anti to get a DB. This is a team that needs offensive line help. Okay. Uh, I think tackle I think tackle is kind of the layup here. One of the worst uh, offensive lines in the Skaronsky, league last year. Yeah, why would be Skaronsky, who uh, definitely – I think that he's plug and play, and I think that he's probably the most versatile offensive lineman in the class because you can move him inside at guard. He has shorter arms, so I wouldn't be surprised if guard ends up being his calling card. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but it could also be Paris Johnson, who's younger. Uh, you know, not a lot of guys his size move like one of the most he's athletic the offensive ceiling. linemen in the draft. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think it's going to be tackle one way or another. Okay, Chicago Bears. We go offensive line here. Number ten is the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, my guy, you already know where I'm going with this pick. This should be running back B. Jane Robinson right here. I, I just don't think that's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I get it. It's definitely kind of a luxury pick for the Eagles. They don't have a lot of needs. I think that they grab another edge. They love to rotate them. Um, guys are getting old. Right. And this is a team. The Eagles have shown in the past, like, they'll pick a guy and not pick a guy early and not, you know, even if he doesn't have to play year one. You think last year, um, <clears throat> their first round pick, like, he, you know, they grab a D tackle. They already had. B tackles. They didn't need him yet, but now, you know, Fletcher Cox is old. He's on the way out. You know, once they lose him, then they got a guy. I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of took that again. If they looked at a guy like Miles Murphy, who's maybe a little bit raw, more raw, a guy like Lucas Van Ness also is a little bit more raw, uh, or even Nolan Smith, because that's a guy that you can, you know, deploy in a number of different areas um, on the field that I think is going to be really versatile. Probably and the most athletic outside also, linebacker in the draft. Four three speed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they they have Hassan Riddick, and they clearly love him. And if there's a comp, you know, the most common comparison for Nolan Smith is probably Hassan, Hassan Riddick. Riddick yeah. So, so I think Edge is probably in play here. Now this wouldn't have, and it could be any. This any wouldn't have guys. anything to do with you disagreeing with me that B.J. Robinson should be going to the Philadelphia Eagles. Would it? I mean, I just think, I think well, they got a running back. <laughs> I think Rashad Penny's really oh, good. Oh yeah, yeah, you're a Rashad Penny guy, right? I, right, yeah, Rashad right. Really good. Right. I get that, you know, Bijan would be pretty sweet. Mm. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't think that they need him at all. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go with the draft expert. That's what I brought you in here for. So we're gonna go ahead, Russia. Miles Murphy or Nolan Smith in a Philadelphia Eagles jersey. They'll be pretty yeah. healthy with Lucas that. Lucas Van Ness, I think, is another guy that. Lucas Van Ness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now. 11, Tennessee Titans. Now, this might be, yeah. in my opinion, where the first receiver goes off the board. That's definitely possible. I think this is a tough one. The Titans need all types of help. Uh, I think quarterback is sort of in the cards. It sounds like they're not super high on Malik Willis anymore. Um, I don't think that they handled his development great. They kind of just threw him out there late in the season. Are you a Malik Willis fan? And then, just ask. I mean, I'm not the, <laughs> relatively speaking, I suppose, mm. but he definitely wasn't very good okay. last year. Okay. Uh, I'm rooting for him. I guess I'm rooting for him. But, I mean, quarterback is still probably a question mark. C.J. Stroud is on the board. Uh, yeah, because we haven't gotten C.J. Stroud off the board now. Now, this is the question. Gotten, How far do you think he's true. sliding? However, I mean, it's tough. It feels like every day, you know, he's just falling down mocks. It feels like every day you're hearing new reports right. that we aren't sure about C.J. Stroud. And maybe C.J. Stroud has already went. Maybe he's one of the three quarterbacks that, you know, maybe the Colts or maybe the Raiders like C.J. Stroud more than Anthony Richardson. And Richardson is falling. I think Richardson to Tennessee would be a lot of fun. Uh, however, they definitely need a receiver, and they definitely need a tackle. They just got rid of Taylor Lewan. Their offensive line wasn't even good last year anyway. Right. Uh, I, I think I think you go tackle. But you're right that, you know, wide receiver, I think, in Jigba is definitely in the cards. But I, I'd probably go tackle. Go I think offensive that's, line here. So you don't have a receiver a going point. off the board in these top eleven picks. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. No, okay. I don't. So we'll, it's tough. I, I think it's tough. It's tough to anticipate that. So we'll go offensive line for the Tennessee Titans. Get somebody to block for Derrick Henry. They're bell cow. Yeah. Yeah. Now number twelve is the Houston Texans. Now I gotta bring this Once to again. you. I gotta bring yeah. this to you. You took. We took a defensive player. At the early pick for the, the Texans, Texans, we were the second overall pick. True. We took Will True. Anderson. Now, True. I'm hoping is, they don't go Davis Mills with the starting quarterback during the season. So if C.J. Stroud's on the board here, you got to think Stroud quarterback. on the board. You know, quarter, yeah, it's tough. If C.J. Stroud ends up being there, I think it would be hard for them to pass that up. Uh, I also, I mean, they are, they're also a team. Again, we mentioned, like, this is a team that's going to probably be bad this year regardless. They have a bunch of Definitely. Players. And if they're kind of just – putting everything into the Caleb Williams slash Drake May bucket um, and whoever else arises as, you know, a top 10, top five quarterback next season. There's a bunch of guys that, you know, people are really excited about if they kind of put their their eggs into that basket okay. of getting quarterback next season. Then I think the Texans could 
look to take Njigba off the board and get a guy, um, you know, that will help them because they don't have great weapons right now. They, they don't I mean, have they have a great running back, right. Damian Pierce. You got to. They do have a good young running back, right. no doubt. And their offensive line, they've got, you know, they've got the tackle spot pretty secure, if I'm not mistaken. So, I don't know. This is this could be quarterback. We already gave them an edge, but if they were to go quarterback early, I think it would probably be edge here. But I, th- I think – because I don't think mm. they go DB either. They just took Stingley last year. <laughs> no, that's true. I, I would agree with that. I And we already took so many edge rushers off the board. They could, yeah, interior offensive line help, but usually that's not a thing that you necessarily look for in the first round. Um, <laughs> you know, let, let's, go let's go quarterback. Let's go quarterback. I, I think one of the four at least is probably going to fall here. And uh, – yeah, if you're trying to get, we're trying to get every single one right. right. Okay, there you go. We're trying to put Talk together to a twelve, a, a fourteen leg parlay right now, and uh, well, this we would got be a plus piece of that, fifteen thousand. Like <laughs> it's something got to be. It's up there. So we go quarterback for the Houston Texans at their second yep. first round pick. Now, yes, number thirteen, New York. New York. Wait, did they trade this pick? This is the they pick did. they yeah. traded. So this is they the Packers it. now. They traded. So this is the Packers. Oof. Now this is where I think a receiver goes. This is where you think a receiver goes. Interesting. You know, they definitely could use a, a, a receiver. They also, in my opinion, could use a tackle. Okay. Now we've we've thrown a couple tackles off the board already, though. It feels like there's been a run on them. Right. That's what makes it kind of tough. I definitely think they look at the offensive side of the ball. I'm curious to see what they would do a receiver because they do have a guy in Christian Watson that you got to think that they love. Uh, normally the Packers pick with, you know, they kind of pick like like we would pick in Madden. They're looking at size and speed. Right. They, they kind of love that. You think of the last couple. Christian Watson was one of those guys. Rashawn Gary was another And one. when y'all thinking of uh, size and speed, the mind. immediate guy that comes to mind is Quentin Johnson. <laughs> immediate guy that comes to mind is Quentin Johnson. I just don't think that he's going to go this high, a guy like Quentin Johnson. I think if they do go wide receiver, I don't know. I don't know. That's tough. This is definitely an Njigba spot, maybe. Where do you um, think one of these top tight ends go off the even, board? Because I believe Robert Tunyon's no longer that. there. Robert Tunyon isn't there. I think you look at tight end, it seems like Kincaid is the one that's rising up. Right. Uh, is the first tight end taken. I think that if you think that there's going to be a tight end in the top 15, this is where it would go. Okay. So maybe, maybe we just roll with the with the tight end pick. Have backslash tight end here uh, at the 13th tough overall one. pick. That's a tough one to – Tough one to anticipate, I think. A little Gotta bit. figure they try to get some help for the young quarterback, though. Jordan Love's first season that's starting. What yeah, yeah. And the offensive line's really old. Uh, that's that's kind of a piece of it too. But they do need a tight end. So now, fourteenth overall they need a pick. Lot on offense. Fourteenth overall pick. This is New England. Now this is probably the because I want to jump and say receiver. However, the Patriots have missed on so many first-round receivers that I want to say they <laughs> don't true. go here again. <laughs> it's true. I don't think that they go receiver either. It's not a particularly strong receiver class. Uh, just to, They could use a tackle. Okay. They could use a DB or an edge rusher. I wouldn't be surprised if they went DB here, to hmm. be honest. A, a guy like, I don't know. I mean, we've already. I think that we've already got Witherspoon and Christian Gonzalez off the so board. So you got to think but, Banks possibly here at the 14th. Yeah, I think I think it could be Banks. Joey Porter Jr. is in the conversation, um, although I think that he goes a little bit later than maybe some people anticipate. So yeah, I, I'm cool. I'm cool with either of those. I think and I'd probably go corner. Probably not going quarterback. You got Mac Jones. Running back. You got Rashad no, Stevenson. I don't think going quarterback. Offensive line yeah, is already think- pretty good. So people do think that they might take Bijan because the Patriots are known to do do some weird stuff in the draft and take guys maybe maybe like they kind of have different philosophies. True. A lot of people think so maybe they don't mind that running back's not as valuable and but they see Bijan as a talent that they really want. So I think that that's in the cards, but I I, I think I go corner. DB for the 14th overall pick. See? Mm-hmm. Now that's 14 mm-hmm. and 14. Just like that. You know, mm. you can thank Provolone mm. when you're able to collect all yes. your little coins. You can thank him. Yep, I got you. You can thank him. I got you. We – now, now you I know, ain't going to lie. I got a tip jar if you guys want. Just, you can ask James. You know what? I, I'll put the tip jar – you know what I do? I'll put it in the – I'll put it in the bio. I'll put okay, it in that's the, perfect. The link in the yeah, bottom under, yeah, under the video. Yeah, I got you. Don't even worry about that's it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I will tell y'all this. If B.J. Robinson goes to the Eagles, y'all will see mm. me here. 
<laughs> and we're gonna get Provolo right back on this video not, to explain the nonsense he put us up to. That's not the type of team that would draft a running back that high. I don't think. I just don't see. You don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. No, I feel pretty confident that they're not gonna take Bijan. Definitely not in the top, like you know, in the top eleven or twelve. Mm. You think Bijan goes in the first round? Yes, I think Bijan and Jameer probably both go in the first round. Is what it's mm. looking like. Okay. Okay. Bijan could go eighteen to the Lions. I think that's that's an, that's a possibility. You I think know Carter what? Has you know what? You got that. DeAndre Swift. Be happy with that. You got Montgomery. What else you need? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're, they're pretty good, but. It's not a t- you know the Lions aren't a team with a ton of holes right now. It's not normally the case, but. <laughs> and that's coming from a Lions fan. But look, y'all, yeah, we got y'all fourteen out of fourteen. Mm-hmm. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you new. Yes, I'm Ajax One K, and that's Provolone. I'm Provolone, and I'm out of here, man. We're out of here. Really. <laughs>